All right, as you can see, I've started to paint the cab of the truck. I've decided to use a semi-gloss uh, Tamiya black on the inside, as well as a metallic black on the outside. The cab is starting to come together. And I shall move on to the outside of the box. As one can see, I've finished painting the cab and the back of the truck. I've also painted the tailgate and the Tupperware container I'm going to conceal my electronics in. I've used a metallic black on the outside, as well as a semi-gloss on the inside. On the outside, to create uh, an extra barrier against scratches, I've also used a Tamiya clear coat to give it the extra shine and to give it some extra armor. It's time to assemble the front grill, add the chrome accents, and a few decals to make this truck come together. All right, time to install my first servo. Uh, this is a waterproof Traxxas 2056 uh, high torque servo. Uh, a couple of mounting rods there. Basically, uh, it's going to be going into the truck up front there with that little arm, that's going to be uh, used to control the three-speed transmission. Uh, the truck is now beginning to take shape. I've assembled the rear box and attached it to the hinge pins on the back of the vehicle. You can see that it allows you easy access to work on the shocks and the suspension system and to get to your back tires if needed. They've simply uh, affixed to these uh, body pins when it's laid flush and it's really easy to move. Okay, the next thing I want to do is install this overhead lighting mount. This is going to go on the back of the truck box, like so, and it's going to be easily screwed in by four screws. Okay, now for the last two weeks I've been working on the Tamiya Toyota Tundra. Uh, basically this is a truck I've always wanted to build, and to this point I've pretty much built it to spec, you know, except for the odds and ends of adding a winch and doing some other things like that. Um, people are, I know are already wondering how come I haven't put the tires on. Uh, I'll explain that. This is the 1.9 tire uh, assembled that comes with the high lift. It's a really nice tire. You can see both in the picture and right up front here. Uh, plastic chrome up front, some good rubbers on the back, a little stiff, pretty small. I know that uh, I'm going to be running this truck in competitions, so I wanted to have the option of beefing that up. And I decided to go with a 2.2 size tire. Uh, this is an RC4WD uh, mudslinger tire. And I've decided to pair that uh, with the limited edition uh, RPP um, beadlock tire. Uh, basically, you know, when you take out these uh, Allen screws uh, on both sides, you lock that tire into the, into the groove here, and uh, you lock it in just by screwing it back in. Beadlocks. Basically, when the tire is assembled, uh, roughly it's going to look like this. Uh, again, fairly aggressive. It's going to give me lots of uh, traction in the mud, and if I have to do any climbing, uh, I know these tires will be on my side. Uh, the other thing I've decided to do was, I know I told folks earlier that I was going to be using a 2.2, or I got 2.2 on the brain, I was going to be using a 2-cell, uh, 2,000 milliamp hour, uh, 7.4 LiPo. I've decided, actually, that since we're going to be just doing a, an awesome truck, why not to beef it up that? Why not beef up the battery as well? Uh, basically, I've decided to go with a 3-cell, 11.1 uh, volt, 1500 milliamp. Uh, since the Tekken uh, FXR um, uh, ESC that I got from Eastridge Hobbies will handle it, why not uh, do that and just I'm gonna try and add two of these actually see if I can find some room on there just so I can make it an easy switch over uh, if I need to in a competition don't know if I have the room but we're certainly gonna try uh, 
and the last thing I'm going to mention just for right now is these dampeners are awesome. They make the truck look fantastic and very scale. Um, but again, because I'm going to be going into competitions, uh, I want to make sure that it has some articulation in there, a little bit more than what the leaf springs have to offer me right now. Um, and I know a lot of you are out there going, oh, it's not scale. But I did go with a sprung uh, set of shocks. Uh, again, rc4wd.com. Uh, you can find these, you know, inexpensive to a point, uh, but really effective. Really nice soft springs, and they're very adjustable. Um, so, so now you can see everything laid out before I actually assemble it onto the truck. One of the things I've done off camera without you guys knowing about it is I've actually gone ahead and put a snorkel on the cab of the truck. I had to order this special offline from a manufacturer. Um, I believe it was rpp.com that you could get something like this. Uh, very nice, fitted very well. Uh, and of course, every one-to-one -one, uh, off-road 4x4 serious one is going to have a snorkel on the hood, so we definitely had to have it on this Tundra. So there we go. Everything's laid out. You get a chance to see it. And... Uh, I know some of you are wondering about those tires, saying how is he going to be able to get those tires on that chassis uh, without them rubbing the bumpers and the fenders. I've also thought about that, and I have a surprise for you. Look at this. Steering servo, an important part of any uh, crawler build. This is the team associated XP uh, DS1015 digital servo, coreless, all metal gears inside, metal fins on the outside for heat dispersion, a really fast response time, and about 201 ounces of torque. I didn't go for a uh, 300 or 400 ounce uh, servo, didn't really need it for this scale build, but uh, this is certainly going to be ample for what we're using it for. I basically put together the front steering assembly. I took the shocks off just for a little bit easier access and I want to put those uh, axle brackets on uh, right after this. Uh, so basically what you can see here is how the four link assembly when the servo moves back and forth will move the uh, tires back and forth just for those of you who haven't seen this before. Uh, so basically it'll screw into the uh, servo horn right there and when that servo moves back and forth these tires will actually articulate like such. Anyway, uh, I'll move on, attach those brackets, and uh, I'll tune you in back then.